University Teaching Hospital, UTH, Public Relations Officer Natalie Mashikolo says Mr. Katuka is recovering and now able to feed, sit, and walk on his own. Ms. Mashikolo says this is after the victim underwent a successful operation. And what happened is that the surgeons will have to create a passage for him, but in terms of maybe using a bathroom, we just have to do it like a lady. That's what is there for now. But uh, the operation was, what they did on him was successful. His cousin, Talasha. Raskin Talasha, said Katuka has been mentally challenged for close to 20 years now. He's been in the street for some time. And all these years, you'd see him sometimes. He'd be missing maybe for a year or two. You don't meet him. Then you just hear, oh, he's in this place. He's, this, he's here. And police spokesperson Esther Katongo said no arrests have been made so far and advised citizens to be cautious when moving in the night. We also want to take this opportunity to caution members of the public to say that they have to be security conscious whenever they are moving because um, um, we had this situation some time back and uh, it took us time to apprehend the suspect, so it could be another way of. Miss Mashikolo also disclosed that because Mr. Katuka is mentally challenged, a psychiatrist will be engaged and he will possibly be referred to Chinama Hospital to continue his mental treatment. Kachepa Mwinga, ZNBC News, Lusaka. Remember to hit the like button, place a comment, and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.